All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. We will have some fun. Uh, this video is just for the sake of comedy, not to respond to anyone. So uh, uh, don't don't take it seriously. A bunch of kids, and we will spank them, and we will have fun. <clears throat> uh, this is a video in front of me. Uh, actually, I just saw it uh, today. <clears throat> Made by Fifi. Peace upon him. And Fifi is going to tell you how people leave Islam in my channel. It's fake. He got this guy, and this guy will tell his story. Very sad. Listen, and let us laugh together. We are here for a special episode on Farid Responds, and I'm joined by my brother Afzal, who has done the unthinkable. Uh -huh. Afzal has watched <laughs> how many episodes of uh, Christian Prince videos? How many videos total? Uh, I'm not sure. I think maybe uh, above 200. 200? Above 200, yeah. Why? 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 Why 200? Why? And your beard is like a broom. Why? What's wrong with you? 200? <laughs> Tell Farid why. Why would you watch 200 Christian Prince videos? Right, so... Um... Uh, Farid, before you ask him, you idiot, you donkey, what about you ask yourself? Because you are the one who is watching every video I make. I mean, you are a certified idiot donkey, and yet you don't dare to call me. So you're asking the Abdul why he is watching, but you don't dare to tell us why you are watching. If you are saying you are responding, you are not, because simply as long as you don't dare to call me, it's mean everything you are saying is a fraud. Otherwise, confront me. Potato. <clears throat> you, you know the story, how it goes. Uh -huh. um, my friend, uh, who I, uh, from school, we were schoolmates, and uh, we play football uh, quite mm. a lot. Mm. We happened to speak about uh, religion, because uh, mm. he's a Christian, and uh, he was inquiring about some things about Islam. Mm. And I was quite amazed that his questions that he brought are not the common questions... Uh, uh, you know, a Christian would, would maybe right. want to know, right. right? And he had these very particular questions that uh, only sometimes scholars would know because they're not everyday uh, stuff. Okay. And okay. Only scholars would know? Did you say to Farid that I am a scholar? Oh, Farid, you better you shower yourself with the camel urine of your prophet. Or the same water your prophet used to clean his panty with and the Muslim used to fight over it. This guy, he just said that I ask questions only scholars would know. If, 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 and Farid is watching. Okay, Fifi, here we go. This is your guy saying that only scholars you know. Uh, sometimes there are misunderstandings, <clears throat> uh, irrelevant stuff, uh -huh. right? And uh, over time, I realized that uh, he's getting all of the stuff from a guy called Christian Prince. Mm -hmm. So initially, when I heard Christian Prince, I thought, this is some guy with, you know, uh, like a alter, alter ego, alter name, Christian Prince. Uh, mm. and, uh, maybe he's, uh, he's just some, some sort of a troll. Mm. But it actually happens that he is a troll. He is. <laughs> but at the same time, people are actually taking him seriously. Right. Like, you know, like, you know, Christian Prince, he promised people who listen to him, if you believe in me, I will give you endless penis. Obviously, he's a troll. And or he make a verse on the Quran saying, I will give you women with big boobs. Obviously, he's a troll. Or maybe I'll promise them that Allah will make their vagina virgin again each time you do F them. Obviously, he is a troll. I am the troll already for a prophet, you idiot. Now, you tell us how I, why I became a troll, what, what I did. Right. And, uh, and, and why is that? Why, <coughs> why, why? Do people take him seriously? Why take him seriously? Well, of course, why? first thing he's entertaining. Okay. He Absolutely. This is the only truth you said until now. Entertaining. And our joke is Muhammad. <laughs> and today, we will prove it. Listen carefully. Gives an entertainment, right? Right. Uh, he's, uh, he's very good in mockumentary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything serious, he can turn into a joke. Right. Right. And this comes to only, uh, we're talking about Islam. Anything about Islam, he can turn into a joke. Giving charity, he can, he can turn into a joke. Giving charity. Giving charity. Oh, you remind me what your prophet, when he said to the women, you women, you are half a brain, and you will go to hell, the majority of you, so give a charity. And they start giving him their earring and their bracelet. He scared the hell of them 
and by saying that what he said he got their money and he got their jewels this is a charity by scaring women that they will go to hell and then when they ask him hey prophet why we are going to go to hell he said and uh, one, one of the women she asked him why why you are saying he said that you have deficiency in 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 uh, uh, in the brain and in intellect and you have deficiency in your religion so one of the women she said why we have uh, why you are saying we have deficiency in the in intellect and in the religion he said well the proof that you have a deficiency in your intellect that one woman two uh, one man is equal to two women <laughs> in the court witness <laughs> and the proof that you have deficiency in your religion that you have ministration now who is the troll those women they will go to hell and the reason for that they have deficiency in the brain and in their vagina who is the troll isn't it allah who created them let us say for the sake of argument uh, they have deficiency in the brain, which is absolutely false. You Muslims have half a brain compared to women. Otherwise, you will not believe in Muhammad who promised you long penis. But let us say, for the sake of argument, women, they have deficiency in the brain. So how that will be a reason to go to hell, you idiot? If Allah created them, that means the deficiency is Allah deficiency, not them. And how in the world, women, she will go to hell because she have menstruation, you idiot? So when you say, I do turn something serious into... It, what is the serious here? This is serious? A guy... Look, here we go, read. This is Sahih. This, this is what? This is Sahih. Because uh, Fifi would say, according to that, you know, the narrator is he's weak. All of them, they are weak. Anything is embarrassing is weak. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, when the woman, she asked him about deficiency, he says, and she said, and what is the deficiency of her intellect? And religion he said the testimony of two women among you is like testimony of a man and the deficiency in her religion is menstruation <laughs> what a troll so the mother of Fifi she will go to hell unless she gave her earring and her bracelet to the prophet because she have deficiency in her brain so the mother of Fifi she is half a brain I'm not insulting his mother by the way this is what his prophet saying not me and the proof is the proof he created by a verse he made that women are half a brain and one man is equal to two women and all of us we knew actually that when it's come to memorizing things women is way better than men in details so women they can remember way more a man he don't even remember what he dressed in the morning and what he ate afternoon a woman she can tell you what happened in the wedding party even it was a year ago so you're a prophet is a troll. Continue, Abdul. Explain for us. Great. Okay. Uh, give it to your right hand. The left hand doesn't see. Oh, does your hands have eyes? And then, you know, he can just change the stuff and make it a joke. Where, where you get this from? Where do you get this from? Can you show me where I said that? Give your right hand, right hand. This is what Jesus said. You eat the donkey. Why you are you lying? Why are you are lying? I made fun of this. Show me. You see, this guy is a, is a fraud like Farid. And look at look at the eyes of Farid. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Look at the eyes of Fifi. If, 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 if. Man, you remind me of a Scooby Scooby Doo. His eyes is coming out. Like what? He do that? Really? You know what? You remind me of... Uh, uh, of uh, later, later, we will talk about this video. I will remind you. Just give me two minutes until you finish this guy. Joke. Right. When, when, when the message is quite deep, right. that you know you have to give charity in a way that it's very deep. the other person doesn't see, right? So he changes anything. In like give a charity. Any woman she want to give her vagina to the prophet, she is welcome. Quran. This is a charity. Why? Because the prophet, he needs more vaginas. It's charity, my brother. It's a charity. It says a charity. Or any, 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 uh, uh, any women the eyes of the prophet fall on her husband must divorce her and give her as a charity to the prophet and we will show the reference let us what to see what Fifi will say into a joke okay. so i think this is why uh, he's quite attractive okay and people watch him for this why do they try why do, do so we know the scholars don't call him on his show right right, right. um they have, they have better things to do 
Okay. Absolutely. They have better things to do, brother. I mean, the scholars are busy. They are very busy. Kissing the black stone, telling us about the beauty of the vagina in the heaven, or reading for us the story that the prophet said that every woman, the names of the one who will F her written in her vagina. I mean, they are busy. Uh, but that, can I shave under my arm? This is what they are busy with. They are busy. Uh, brother, it is haram to do your haircut like a kufa or to wear your trouser down your ankle. But Zakir Naik himself and this Fifi himself is wearing kuffar clothes. Look, both of them, they are wearing kuffar clothes. And their prophet says the one who dressed like them, the one who act like them, he is one of them. <coughs> okay. That's, that's quite obvious. Um, why do youthful Muslims, um, why do the youngsters, why do folks with not too much knowledge call him on his show? And now, after watching him so many times, and one of my uh, particular interests when watching his videos uh, was to see the videos where the title is about someone leaving Islam. Mm. Mm. So I was very interested in knowing yes. what kind of, uh, you know, Nar narrative did he bring? Mm. Oh, what is it that he said that made the made the person leave Islam, right? Mm. And after viewing it for a while, I noticed what he brings is things that are there in the text that are misdirected. Uh, uh, let's just take one example. Oh, he example. talks about the the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being yes, someone who is uh, encouraging people to uh, have. Uh, sexual intercourse with a dead body okay and he brings this hadith where the prophet is uh, is, in, is is has has dug up the grave of one of his uh, relatives and he asks who amongst you uh, you know is uh, has not uh, been in a sexual relationship last night and one of the com uh, you know fifi i want your guy your friend to show us the video i mentioned this hadith because your guy here is a fraud can you show us this hadith? I mention it. I don't mention this hadith. I don't even remember one last time I mentioned this hadith. So either you show us which video I say this hadith or you are a fraud. Because he said he saw it in video. Because I don't even remember I mentioning this hadith. It's a fraud. This guy is making things up. And uh, we will prove it in a second. Actually, let us move a little bit. Uh, you know what? It's just a three minute left for the disaster. Companions raises up his hand. He says, all right, so come in here and okay. help me out. Okay. Now what Christian Prince does to the audience is, see, this man, he's, he's so, uh, uh, so sexually uh, charged that he doesn't even leave a dead body. See, right. you see how he built a wrong narrative? Right. When, when actually the, the reality... Uh, no, 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 you see? The hadith we mentioned, not this one, you are lying. The hadith we mentioned that your prophet, he lay down with the dead women in her grave. And the excuse is to ease the grave in her. If that is not sexual, you tell me what is that? Either he is mentally ill or he is mentally ill. Because according to the Quran, if Muhammad he asks for forgiveness or not, that will not make any difference. So Muhammad is breaking the rules of Allah. Isn't it the Quran say to, say to Muhammad, you ask for their forgiveness or you don't ask for their forgiveness, Allah will not forgive them? So what does it mean to sleep with the women? She is not even a Muslim. And according to Islam, she is najis. You sleep in her grave to ease the grave in her. Give me a reason. Now, this guy, he said, I bring things and I change the meaning. Okay, I will give an example how Christian Prince, he changed the meaning. Hey brother, this is the Prophet Muhammad. And all those hadith are sahih, as you see. Sahih Muslim, Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Turumuru, Sahih Turabura, all the garbage. Let us see how those Muslims can answer this. Christian Prince, remember, he, 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 he fabricated things. He, he changed the direction. It is serious, it is not sexual, but a, a, a Christian prince, he make a mockery of it. Okay. Muhammad, he was walking with the man, his name is Abdullah. Ja sorry, Jabir. 
The Prophet, he asked Jabir, did you marry? Hmm? Actually, some hadith give you more details. That even Muhammad, like if you read this hadith here as an example, Sahih Muslim, which is Sahih or Al-Bukhari, doesn't matter. It says here that Jabir said, we were with Allah Messenger in expedition, which means they are attacking the neighbors to steal their women, to steal their money. When we returned, I urged my camel to move quickly. Okay, so the guy, he want to go home fast. As it was slow, there met me a ride from behind, and a rider from behind, and he got it uh, with an iron tip stick. This is Muhammad touching the guy in his back with an iron tip stick, which he had with him. Okay, uh, they met me, with, uh, they met me, this is just to be sure that this is what it says in English, so hold on. Yeah, yeah, this is Muhammad. So he followed him, and then he is doing this. And then uh, Muhammad, he said to him, Jabir, you see, Allah Messenger said, Jabir, what is hastings you? Why you are in rush? Why you want to go fast? I said, Messenger of Allah, I am in Yuli with it. The guy, he just get married. He want to go back to his wife. Whereupon, he said, <laughs> is it a version? that you have married or one previously married look at the question muhammad is asking what is the situation of the vagina of the women actually in arabic it says thayyiban which means she lost her virginity i said with one previously married and look at the faith in Muhammad. And remember, Christian Prince, he fabricated things. He changed the direction. It's not sexual. He said, why? Why? Why not a young girl? So that you could play with her. And she could play with you. Now, I want Fifi and this guy, who both of them, they are a scam. And we will continue in the video, and you will see. Explain to us what is the reason for a prophet of God to play with the mind of a married, happy man and make him go after children. I mean, the guy is not even complaining. The guy, obviously, he like his wife. Maybe he love her. To the point he is hastened to go to see her. What is the business of such a faithy prophet to say to the man, Why? Why? Why you do this? Why? Why? Huh? Why? What's wrong with you? Why you don't get a younger child? Huh? So she can play with you. And you can't play with her? You want the guy to leave his women, she's a woman, to get a little tiny child, child molester Muhammad. So the purpose is to play with her, that is Muhammad. So why Muhammad did marry a previously married woman, her name is Khadija? Because she had money. Because obviously Muhammad, he don't like women who they are previously married. Khadija, she have two husbands before him and she have tons of kids from men before him. So why Muhammad marry her? And she is way older than him. The truth now here appear. Khadija, she is rich and Muhammad is a fraud. He married her for her money. And when you give an advice for someone to do, that's mean this is what you like. That's mean this is the right thing to do. Can Fifi say Christian Prince is changing the direction? He make it sexual. And then the man, he said to him, well, you know what? My brother, he died fighting for you, Muhammad. And he have a bunch of kids. And I need the women so she can take care of them. Hmm? If you read the hadith in different place, like this is Sahih Muslim. You will see how he explained to the faith in Muhammad that the reason I did marry a woman because I needed the women, not a kid, like my the children of my brother. So look what he said. When he said to him, why you don't marry a little tiny girl, a child, who is a virgin, so you can play with her, she can play with you. So you might make her laugh and she make you laugh. Look at the faith, man. I said, my father died. Huh? Actually, it's not his father. I think it was his brother. Uh, died leaving seven of or nine girls, orphans, and I did not like to bring a young girl like them. 
Do you see the fifth? They are orphans. When you say orphans, even the Muslim translation say orphans. You don't say orphans for somebody is adult. You say orphan only for kids. So Muhammad is encouraging a man, a growing man, to marry a kid in the age of the children of his brothers just to play with her and she play with him so she can make you laugh and you make her laugh. And you are telling me that I am changing the situation? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. I know, for you will say, this hadith is narrated by the following names. Jabir is not trustworthy. <laughs> or hold on. Maybe, maybe, brother, the story about your prophet, which is in your Islamic interpretation, where it says, if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Fifi, does it say that? It doesn't say that, CP. What a potato. This is the link. This is the Seer al Qurtubi. This is chapter 33, verse number 50, interpretation. It says that Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, he have a privilege. And they are counting how many privilege. He have 16 a privilege. The number one, the best of the booty. Number two, take the fifth of the booty. Number three, uh, he is always connected to Allah, like he is in, in a prayer, supposedly. Number four, he can increase more than four women. Number five, he can if women without anything, just by saying, I want to if you, which means according to Muslim, they say the word nikah is marriage. The guy, he just say, I want to if you, she's his wife. That's it. Beloved Zilhiba, the women, she come to him, she said, Prophet, take me. Okay, go to the bed. That's it. He do not need to do any ceremony or anything. As number six, to if a woman without the permission of her father. This is all a pro this is all a permission for Muhammad about sex. Number seven, to if a woman without paying her a dowry. Number eight, to if a woman during the ihram. Number nine, he can take an oath and he can break it. Number ten, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. And it's lawful for him to if her. Now, Phoebe will say it doesn't say if her, it says uh, to marry her. Uh, no, you know, the nikah is the if action. Even the dictionary says, which means the branches go inside each other. Hello. Uh, and, and there is a hadith, uh, the Fifi will say it's weak. Uh, it says, uh, uh, it's uh, Allah, He cursed the one who if his hand, you know. And uh, we have, we can show you, uh, uh, if you remember the Quran speak about the shaitan, he have 10, uh, he laid 10 eggs and he have a penis in the right uh, thigh and the vagina in the left thigh. And when he want to do nikah, even in the, in the, in the Arabic in interpretation, they say nikah. He shake this with this and he enter this into this. So they call it nikah. So did, did shaitan marry himself? No, he is effing himself. So look at the filthy corrupt video saying i am changing facts i want you to answer about the facts i change and this is the official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia tafsir al qurtubi official website I have nothing to do with it and not only that by the way there's a miracle here christian prince always he liked to hide about this story when muhammad he went to uh to the house of Zainab. And he said to her, Praise be to Allah, who made my heart flip for you. Isn't it amazing? A man who is a prophet going to the house of a woman she is married to his own adopted son. And he said to her, and I will read as it is, and I changed uh, Fifi to say, it doesn't say that, CP. It says, ثم إنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه. So once uh, peace upon him, he came to Zayd and he wanted to see him. And he saw Zainab standing and she was white, beautiful, fat, from the most beautiful women of Quraysh. At that time, fat women, they are supposedly the top for, for beauty. فَهَوِيهَا So he fell in love with her. He fell in love with women she is married. And who is the one saying that? 
Is that me? No. Tafsir al Qurtubi, page number 423. Hello. And then the Prophet he said to her, Waqala subhanullah, muqallib al khulu. Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. And Zainab, she heard the Prophet. Zainab, Zainab, she heard him praising her to Allah. And then she told Zaid. And then Zaid, he said, Fatina Zaid, which means he said to him, so, uh oh, this is what Fatina. And he went to the Prophet immediately and he asked the Prophet to let him divorce her because obviously his wife is sleeping with Muhammad. I mean, what kind of a whore? She will say to her husband, without being upset, without being angry, that a strange man, or let us say your father, which make it more horrible, came to the house and he flirted with me when you are not here. She is not angry. Obviously, she loved it. And obviously, they decide to expose themselves now because Muhammad now in a position where he can do as he wish. So Zaid he went, it says here, so Zaid he went to Muhammad and he asked him to divorce her. And then Muhammad he says, uh, أمسك عليك زوجك واتق الله يا رجل. Oh, hold your wife, man. Don't divorce her. Look at the hypocrite. In the morning he was in the house of the wife, flirting with her. Afternoon he said to the guy, don't divorce your wife. And the guy he never meant or want to divorce his wife until his wife, she told him that your father flirted with me. And then it says, and it said that Allah, he sent wind and he left the curtain and Zainab, she was almost wearing nothing, mutafaddila, which means she is wearing a clothes, which is yummy, yummy. فَرَأَى زَيْنَبَ فَوَقَعَتْ فِي نَفْسِهِ So he, he saw Zainab and he wanted her. That's it. And then, وَوَقَعَ فِي نَفْسِ زَيْنَبْ أَنَّهَا وَقَعَتْ فِي نَفْسِ النَّبِي And Zainab, she noticed that the Prophet, he wanted her. And when Zayd, he came, she told him what happened, that your father, he want me. Now, I can use Google Translation, by the way, to show you that we are not adding a single word. And I will post the link for you in the chat so you can use your Google Translation yourself and you see the faith of Islam. And the Muslim, they say, Christian Prince is making things uh, up. It's not true. It's not true, brother. We open it in Google browser so we can translate to English. And you will see it immediately. She was a white woman, the prophet he came to house of Zaid. And Zainab, he, you know, translation is horrible, but what we can do. So he said, oh, glory to Allah, the one who made my heart a flip for you. And Zainab, she heard him and she mentioned it to Zaid. Do you see it? And not only that. The whore Zainab, she claimed that, and I call her a whore because obviously she don't get upset. You see, a woman who have a dignity, anyone he flirt with her, she should tell her husband. Like, she is not separated from him. She is not uh, seeking divorce. She, she lived with him and, you know, he lived with her and he never thought about divorcing her until that moment. And then you will see that Zainab, she claimed that each time her husband Zaid, he tried to get close to her, Allah make his penis swell. Swell, the penis of the man, he get a swell. Are you serious? Yes, brother. Christian Prince, you are making things up. This is not a true. It can't be true. No way it is a true.
Here we go. And Zainab, she said, in some account, that Zaid, each time he got close to her to do boom, boom, Allah, he made his penis as well. Translation here is horrible. And yet the Abdul, they say that the Christian prince, he made it sexual. I mean, here we go. You're Muslim, you're Christian. You know, you don't say prophet, he have a, a miracle. Here we go. Allah, he made the penis of the woman who, uh, the husband of the women who Muhammad like. Swear, what do you want more? Any women Muhammad he like, Allah will make the penis of the husband as well. The same thing we can prove in what we said here. The Arabic version. And they count that he have 16 privilege. What is the 16 privilege? All of them, most of them about sex. And one of them, if the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must leave her so the prophet can if her. So Christian Prince, he fabricate things. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. We don't want to make it long, really, but it's going to be a little bit long. Almost we are done. Reality is he wanted to know who is upon Tahara. Right. Because mm. only the, the one who is so, Tahir can come in and the one who is pure can come in. Right, and right. So ritual. Pure, purity turned into uh, necrophilia, exactly, I think. Exactly. Uh, necrophilia. Hmm. Yeah. But I want you to show me the hadith the one you are talking about, uh, Fifi. I will be waiting, waiting for you for the coming video. Otherwise, you and this guy making a fraud. Remember this. Hmm? I want to see this video. Go ahead. Exactly. So, the the Muslim yeah. who doesn't understand this, right? And let's admit it, majority of the Muslim Ummah, uh, due to the history of gone through colonization and all of this. And ah, the colonization, brother. It's the colonization. Hmm. Okay. Removal of you know the uh, the Arabic language from our curriculum hmm. and smashed us with you know uh, whatever is the uh, running in the world today. Uh -huh. We have lost Arabic. So a lot of people call. Okay, let us go to where the where where he uh, the the big fault happened. Let us move a little bit to save time. Okay, I think here we are close. Like he had a bad experience. Maybe he maybe the imam shouted at him during a Quran class. He must be yeah. He shouted at me, and now he's saying my imam didn't doesn't say stuff. He's a bad imam, and he leaves. The guy him. leaves. You know, I mean. He yeah. Guys, the Imam, he shouted at him, and then the guy, he come to me, and he called me, he leave Islam. Uh -huh. Okay. But here's the thing, and, and I'll tell you hmm. further, if, if there's anything you'd, you'd like to... No, please carry on. I'm, I'm interested. It's not, just about, it's not just about people converting. Now, what happened was, as I kept watching, I stumbled upon a video. And this video was by a man who had my name. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, wow, okay, someone, someone my name. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Abdul? <laughs> I'm not Abdul. I'm Afzal. You're what? Afzal. Afzal? Okay. Yeah. Are you a Turkish? I'm not. Okay. Uh, you are Muslim, right? Yes. And then as I go on hearing, I realize this is the same Christian schoolmate of mine okay because of whom i took an interest in knowing who is his so-called christian prince teacher right? right right and it happens to be him right who takes my name right goes on to the show asks a few questions which i posed at him oh. during our conversation okay and then uh <laughs> so wait he was he was acting as if he was a muslim now here's the thing hang on he he, he is he's acting as a, as though he's me right Guys, there is only one Afzal in the universe. That's it. This guy, there's only one Afzal. And he was using my name. Okay. Now, let us show everybody that Fifi is a fraud. As long as you said he is your schoolmate, which means you see him every day. This is my challenge to the fraud, Fifi. And Fifi, if you don't give me this video, from now on, I will call you a whore. You know what whore, why I would call you a whore? Because a whore, she have no honor. So as long as this is your schoolmate, 
then why you don't record him in the school and confront him with his voice, which we everybody know, you cannot change it. Life, you can record the video, you go to the school tomorrow, and you record this video, and you, this guy who he claimed that he is of Zal, and he called me and he is a playing a Muslim, because if he is, as you are saying, obviously he is a fraud, and he is like a prophet. If you cannot do that, that means you, you and Fifi is the fraud, and both of you are a bunch of whore. It's a challenge. He is your schoolmate, and you spoke to him one million times, so you know him, you know where to see him, you know where to find him, so go there and confront him, open your camera, say, hey, you call a Christian prince using my name, and you are a fraud, and you did lie, and I want to see the video. Otherwise, you both are making up a story. Is that fair, guys? Did he say this is his schoolmate? Okay. You will see him tomorrow. Why you don't go and confront him or record him? Because simply you are making things up. Otherwise, prove me wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this guy is a fraud, as you say. I don't know him. But I want you to confront the fraud, otherwise you are a fraud. You are a certified fraud, Farid. You brought a guy fabricating a story, yet you did not bring a proof of it. Who is, what is the proof that this guy, actually this guy before he sent me a link trying to find my IP, and I blocked him many times. The same guy. And you can, you can see how many times he called me. And he started posting my IP actually under the, but I use a fake IP, you know, I use, I use a, a software. So he started posting a location which he think I am in. But anyway, look like this guy, he is a Christian, but he liked to hurt me maybe. I'm Christian, he liked to hurt me, makes sense. But anyway, if you are a truthful, make this video and it's a challenge for you i will be waiting for it i will give you you know like how long is going to and you're going to school right hmm? make a video with him confront him expose him i will be happy to see a liar being exposed doesn't matter who is he what else ah let me move a little bit because there is nothing really here uh let me move because the rest is a stupid. Uh, let us move here. You realize it doesn't work. And he doesn't then, care. He doesn't care. And secondly, the Muslims might say, okay, then if, 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 if we can't do it, why can't the scholars do it? I told you, even if the scholars go in there, uh, it's the same. He's going to change the show. He's going to change the show. He's going to mute the guy. He's going to kick the guy. Uh, you know, Fifi, listen. I made a promise. If you dare to call me, I will never hang up on you. And you, Fifi coward, isn't it me, me hijab? He hang up on me more than seven, eight times in less than a few minutes. And he even called me a bastard. Isn't it your Fifi hijab? He play a video. And you were with him in the video. You scum back a fraud whore. Which is a fraud video. And you will do the same today. And I will compare between them. Listen carefully how Fifi the fraud. And I call him from now on a whore. Unless he proved that the person who he said his name is Afzal, is a Christian, he is a whore. I want the proof. But additional to that, this is a video, the coming video will make him look more as a whore, and this time will be certified. Listen carefully. Of the conversation, of the we've, seen that, we've seen that before. Hmm? Hmm. I have news from the, from the, from the, uh, uh, what mean from the angel about the people of Ahli Najran, the Christians who came from there, mm -hmm. that I should invite him to do Mula'ana, which means the Christian party. What is the debate? Okay, did you finish? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh man, you have no clue what you're talking. For sure. They were debating the prophet. My friend, they Mujadilun, you stupid. Uh, Abdul, Abdul, just don't. don't. Don't don't call me again. Let, let your your let your parents call me. You stupid! It's in the front of you. You see, nobody dares call me. So you can't wait. Okay, let us show everybody that you are a fraud. This is the real conversation. 
everybody will love at the whore Fifi. Okay, you're you're reading what? You're you're reading what, Nightmare? What are you reading? I'm I'm translating what after reading from where? From where? You're reading from where? From where? I'm reading. I can't remember exactly from from where I got. Abdul, you tell me the reference. Don't tell me you want to correct me without. He is reading, but he don't remember from where. I mean, have you ever heard of a of a of a, of a fraud? So this Fifi, he took a video, he cut it off. I hang up on him after a long conversation, you coward donkey. I was asking him tons of time, where is the reference? The guy is reading an article. Listen carefully. He's a certified donkey like you. Reference, which book you are reading from? No, I don't have it right So, where you are reading from? Who are you to tell me? Who are where you are getting this from? I want to know why you don't tell me where this is coming from. I can't find that for you if you want. No problem, find it. Okay, let me let me just why you just read this while you are talking. Okay, you are saying you are saying, hold on, hold on. Did you see that? Did you just say, let me read this? Yeah, I have it. I have to, uh, okay. When, uh, so you are reading it, but you do not know where it's from. I say I I got it from online, uh, uh, but I say ah, this, in, this I guy he read an article fire, online. I you say, see that? You see the Abdul? You see the potato? He don't have a reference. He don't have a book. He's reading an article. Is that correct? It was an article. I did have it from the guy. It have doesn't numbers. matter. What is the reference? How how in, how in the world you idiot? How how in the world? How in the world? How in the world do you accept an article without a proof of reference? Nah, you no, yourself. No, they have it. They have it here. They have where, it. where? 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 You just said you are reading it right now, but you cannot give me the reference. Why? What kind of article does not have any reference? They have. Listen, listen. Let me talk. Okay. okay. They have number six, which means six. If you go down. Okay. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Give me the reference. Give me the reference. This is to be that no, you just need to, what do you want to do? You just want to waste my, my time. friend. I want to read with you. I want to uh, put it in the screen. I want to put the reference in the screen so everybody will read with us. Don't be stupid. Give us the reference, please. Why is it gonna take me time to get you the reference? Why, why is it going to give you time? It's number six. Just to go down, yeah. see number well, six. No, I'm not, I listen, get lost. I don't have it's not. I, I don't. See, uh, this is why I get lost. Do you see you stupid? Do you see you stupid, uh, Fifi? You are a fraud. Here we go. Now let me show you the reference for what this guy, just to show you that Fifi is a fraud like he's a prophet. This is Tafsir al-Lusi, volume number three, page number 186. Hmm? I get, I said to him, get lost because I'm wasting my time. I say to him, okay, give me the reference. Give me the reference. It's okay. It says here number six. Okay. What reference? And the coward Fifi, he cut the video and he say, Oh, he says to him, got lost. You cannot win with the Christian prince because he mute me. And you, Fifi, specifically, I said one million times, if I hang up on you, if you call me, it's mean I am the one who lost. But yet you coward, you don't dare to call. Making an excuse. Now, let us see here the word you jadil, just to show you how stupid you are. The people of Najran, they came to your prophet. And the question here was, why, where is the debate between the prophet and the Christians? Did, did the prophet debate them or he made a verse for them saying that, okay, bring your wife, I bring my wife, bring your children, I bring my children, bring your goat, I bring my goat, I bring your camel, I bring my camel, bring your hummus, bring my hummus. And then let us ask Allah to curse the one is lying. Cursing party. So how, the question was, where is the debate? Did Muhammad debate the Christians and he have an answer for them? Here is the front of us, a clear proof and reference, and I challenge, uh, and by the way, uh, Fifi, he used the Lucy many times, because he's a Lucy like him. Maybe, I don't know if you know what a Lucy means. <laughs> Value number three, page number 186. It says that the Messenger of Allah, and I will translate this page into English soon, just uh, give me a second to read it in Arabic first, and then we will make it in Google translation. The Messenger of Allah, he wrote a letter to the Christians of people of Najran. And he said to them, Bismillahi ilahi Ibrahim wa Ishaq wa Yaqub. In the name of the, the God, the God of Isaac and Jacob, from Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, to the Bishop of Najran, 
and the people in Iran. If you convert, if you become a Muslim, I, uh, I thank Allah for you. The God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And I ask you to worship the God, his name is Allah. From all of you. And I ask you to, you know, consider like Allah is your superior. And if you refuse to convert to Islam, you have to pay me the jizya. And if you refuse, I'm going to come to you by your choice, either war or peace, which means either you convert or die or you pay. And when the bishop here read this, he was terrified. And then he sent for some men of people of Najran. And he made them read the article. And then they went to the prophet, the false prophet, the fraud, to debate with him. Let us see if he is a prophet. Hmm? And here it says, and I'm going again, I'm going to translate in English using Google translation. So the group of the Christians from Najran, they came to Muhammad and they asked him, he asked them and they asked him, what, 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 the, uh, uh, what, what was the question? They said to him, what do you say about Isa? Because the whole debate is about Isa, this guy. He said that Isa is a slave of Allah, actually, in the conversation there. He says, you insult our God and you call him Abdullah, slave of Allah. Muhammad answered, he said, Ma indi fihi shay I have no answer for this today. Stay until I tell you. And then the second day, he gave them a verse from the Quran, which is saying, فَنَجَعُوا لَعْنَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاذِبِينَ Ala Umran, chapter 3, verse number 61. So where's the debate? So they ask him, what do you say about Isa? He said literally, and it's in front of me, and let me use Google Translation. I have no answer for this. Stay here tonight. Tomorrow I will give you an answer. The second day he fabricated a verse. He said, Allah, he gave me this verse. What this verse? Chapter 3, verse number 61. I don't have anything today for you to say. Stay today. You see it? They say to him, what do you say? What do you say about Isa? He answered them, I have no answer. This is the debate. So we were asking your stupid Abdul, and by the way, uh, Fifi, just to show you how donkey you are, the one you are quoting him, his name is Nightmare, and this guy, he believe Allah has no spirit, which means he is a kafir. And it was me, Christian Prince, who spent more than two hours to show him that he is a donkey like you and he don't agree with me. That Allah, he don't have a spirit and he is not a spirit. And you can ask him. And actually the video is in the internet. So look who you quote. You quote somebody, believe in wrong religion and he is the one who's going to correct me. When I am the one who is teaching you a Muslim that Allah has no spirit and this guy, the one you are quoting his video, is the first donkey from Morocco who always I get him busted. I mean, simple things Muslim do not know that Allah don't have a spirit. But you see here that the Christian prince is saying the truth. Muhammad, he could not debate the Christians. And this is what was the argument about. So I win, you lose, Fifi. You Fifi coward, you lose. I want you to show me a full conversation of a debate between Muhammad and the Christian of Najran in any Sahih Hadith. Remember, you are the one who keeps saying you want Sahih, Sahih. Christian prince don't call Sahih. <laughs> you know, I want you to show me a full debate. When we go in the hadith, we find Aisha speaking about important stuff. I mean, you Muslim, you have all the time to get us uh, very important information. 
But a debate between the Christians and Muhammad would be very interesting to see what happened. You don't have it. Aisha. Reporting for us. Very important matter, but not the debate. One of the wives of the Prophet of Allah joined him in a tikaf and she noticed a blood coming from her vagina. And she put a dish under her when she prayed. So is this a story is more important to be in Sahih al-Bukhari from a debate between the Prophet and the Christians? Where is the debate? And we showed you your Prophet saying, I have no answer for you. Come tomorrow. And when went tomorrow come, what he said to them? Let us go to the Quran and die laughing. He said, come, come, come. Come, come, come. Hmm? Bring your uh, wives. Huh? Bring your children. And let us curse the one is lying, brother. <laughs> Have you ever heard a debate like this? The most important question, what do you say about Isa? Who is Isa? He said, come tomorrow. I have no answer for you. And let us show the verses. And this is in the interpretation. Chapter 3, verse number 61, you fraud Fifi. Saying that the answer of Allah for the question about who is Isa is here. Come. Come, 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 come. So Muhammad gave no answer. Supposedly the one who was giving answer is Allah. And he gave them a verse saying, Oh, the likeness of Isa is the same as Adam, which is a stupid. Because neither Adam, neither Isa in the Quran was created by B. According to the Quran, Allah created Adam in stages. Even in, 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 the, in the Sahih Hadith, it says that Allah, when he created Adam, he created him a Friday afternoon. And then Adam, he sneezed, and Allah, he said to him, Allah, may, may your Lord bless you. And then Allah, he looked, and he said to Allah, please, Allah, finish me before the sunset. So where is the be and was? Isa is the same. Allah, he breathed into the vagina of Mary, filthy language, from a filthy God. And supposedly, this is how Isa came to existence. Where is the word be? So there is neither be, in the creation of Adam and we can prove it in a second you know we can go to the Quran right now and we can show you tons of verses where it says it clearly that Allah he breathed into the, first he fashioned this is how Allah created Adam where is the bee? He made the he made the mud, so he makes water with dust. This is what how you make mud, and then he alter it. He make a fashion of a human being. So then we made him, and then we breathe into him. If you don't, the translation is funny, so I will change the translation. And this is all anyway is Islamic translation. All of it is stupid, no matter who is translating. So where is B and he was? Sounding clay from mud, modeling into a shape. Do you see it? He did not say B and there was a shape. He did not say B and it was a mud. And when we have fashioned him, then we breathe into him from my spirit. So where is B and he was? This is a clear contradiction in the stupid Quran. So Fifi is a person who always used to cut videos, play with them to make himself look right. And he did that, if you remember, when he came online with this filthy scumbag. Playing my voice, speaking to a woman, cutting the, and editing the video, saying, look, look at the face of uh, Mimi Hijab, oh, brother, 
And Fifi is listening. Aren't you ashamed, Fifi, to join the fraud of Mimi Hijab, lying about my videos when the fact it was your sister, she is the one acting like a whore. Actually, if you have little dignity, you, you and Mimi Hijab, you will not cut the video of this guy Nightmare who believe Allah has a spirit. And you will not agree with Mimi Hijab who cut the video about the women and breastfeeding and your panty. I used, everybody knows, I use the word panty, I use the word vagina, I use the word penis, but I'm reading from your prophet stories as now. You take my video because you are a fraud and you are a whore like Mimi Hijab. And you cut my video and you edit it. And now you bring a guy claiming that this guy, he was a Christian who called me, but yet you are not going to prove it and you will not go and confront him or record him live by video. When I say live, I mean just record video. He is in the same school, record him, confront him. I want to see who is this liar. Even if he's a Christian, I want you to be exposed. We don't approve liars. Otherwise, you are the one who is fabricating a story. The same you do with the video here. You go live with Mimi Hijab. You fabricate a video, cutting the video off the story to make a story I did not say. This is your sister, the whore. And I call her a whore because she was saying that Jesus, he said something, he did something very bad. And if you are a decent Muslim, actually, you should take my side against her. But because you, all of you, it's impossible to find somebody decent in this world today he follow Muhammad. I don't know if he was exist before, but it's very hard to find somebody decent from especially those who defend Islam. So you fabricate the video when the video is saying something totally different. Why well, the Christian? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen, can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When, when the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you, show me where it says in the Bible kiss the cross. No, no, show me, show me. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't kiss anything. Show me where why you kiss, why you're a prophet? You why you're a prophet? The pagan prophet? You why your pagan a prophet kiss a stone? Your prophet no, is a pagan man. No, no, why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Can you pray? Why? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia, I live in Africa. You know, you know where, you know, where, you, know, you know what, you know what? They know. And not only that, by the way, they claim that she is a young child. This woman, she is not only old, she is obviously a whore. Listen to what she will say. They say a young, a young girl, she is a teenage. What a bunch of a scumbag you are. This woman, she is young. I thought Aisha, she was uh, uh, mature at the age of six, brother. Why you kiss, no, why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did, did you kiss a stone no, or not? Did you, do you do you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create the stones. He created the whole world. But you must kiss. You must kiss his stones, right? Why why your prophet kiss the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs? You right. must be okay. You see, you see guys. You see guys. You see guys. You see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played Why with his mother. Show, his show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You said Jesus he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to. To strangers is that true or not no it's not can true. i suckle you okay let's read the hadith because you can i suckle you can i suckle you see mimi hijab and fifi the fraud they are a bunch of whore like this whore they cut my video all the video and they both says i uh, can you suckle me i was reading the hadith so you have no dignity fifi when you join hijab in this fraud you are like him and now you brought another guy to make a fraud and I'm waiting for you to prove me wrong. All what we want from you, I gave the reference for everything I said.
And you quote for me a video from a guy his name Nightmare, you idiot. This guy, he don't he's not a Muslim, he believes Allah is a spirit. And you know that if the one you believe in Allah is a spirit, that's means he's not a Muslim. So you are stupid again. If a guy you do not know if his God is spirit or not, how he can correct me? And I muted him, or let's say hang up on him. I told him got lost because I keep asking for reference. So you cut the video and you play with it. And now you bring a guy claiming that the guy who called, he was using his name. Oh, there is only one guy in, in, in Pakistan. His name is uh, uh, Afdal. He's using my name. You, you must be a superstar. There's only one person. His name is Afzal in the world. And this guy, he is with me in the school. Let us see if this story is a true or Fifi is a fraud and he is a whore. And I insist to say the word whore because I saw a lot of whore act from you, Fifi. First, you are not man enough to call me. Excuse, I will hang up on you. And I made a promise. If I hang up on you ever, I am the one who lost the debate and you are the winner. And I repeated that one million times. Still, you don't dare to call me. Because you are too much terrified. Number two. Make a video for this guy, the one who you, he claimed, your friend, that this is his friend. Go to the school, open your camera, speak to him face to face, record him and post it on YouTube. Tell him how shame on you to call a Christian prince using my name, claiming to be me. And it's funny. I mean, the guy, he just said his name is Avdal. He did not say he is you. He did not use your last name. But I want you to confront the liar. Otherwise, both of you are a bunch of liars. Is that fair, people? Is that fair? The guy, he said, this is his friend in school. He's a schoolmate. So he knew where he lived. He knew where to find him. He knew where to see him. He knew who is he. He knew his full name. All what he needed to do speak to him record him voice and audio and post it in the page of fifi hijab because actually this will support your argument so why you will not do it i don't see a reason not, not to do it if this is true why would you watch 200 christian prince video let us see what and he I'm said joined by my brother Af sorry how it goes um my friend uh, who i uh, from school Mm -hmm. We were schoolmates and uh, <clears throat> we... He is your friend. He is from the school. He called him a friend. You stupid idiot, you Fifi. You know that in Islam, you cannot take a Christian as a friend. So how you in your program, or what we call it, a whole show, you accept him to say, my friend, isn't it the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 51, take not Christian and Jews as a friends or protectors. And if you take them, you are one of them. You potato, you potato donkey. So he is your friend, he's from the school, you know him, you know where he lives, you know how his name, I want you to record him in video. In video. And I want you to stand next to him. You show yourself in the camera and you show the guy in the camera and let everybody laugh. Either both of you are a fraud or the story is a true. And then that guy is a liar like your prophet. I will be waiting for Fifi. To prove to me that he is not a whore like Mimi Hijab. And actually already he is editing my videos. And he did that many times. And the coward he don't dare to call me. For he is too much intimidated. Please download this video. Share it everywhere. And by the way, I'm not using the word whore to insult. Whore is anyone who have no dignity. Can be a man, can be a woman. The one who sell himself to the devil is a whore. The second you lose your dignity... You are a whore. So either he is a truthful in what he said, and this guy, he have a friend, and his name is Afzal, and we have the video, we have his voice, so they cannot play games with it. You need to bring me a guy who have exactly the same voice. You record him by your camera, and you confront him. Say to him, hey, you call a Christian prince in that day. Why you did that? And your name, you said your name is Afzal. Why you do that? And you are a Christian. Why you did that? I want you to do this. If you could not do it, both of you are a fraud. 
And I believe this is very fair request. And for me, I do not know who is calling me. I don't know them. I have tens of thousands who add me in Skype and they call me. But if he is a fraud, he deserves to be exposed, whoever he is. So we challenge you to do it. And you will not do it. How many of you bet that Fifi will not do my request? Who, who, how many of you will, will think he would do it? He will, he will call his friend immediately, this guy, the Muslim Abdul, who he claimed that th the other guy is his friend, so he knew where he lived. He knew his full name. He knew it's school. They go together in the school. And he said they're friends. <laughs> so if you don't do it, obviously you are a fraud. You are trying to explain why people are leaving. I have thousands and thousands of people left Islam. Actually, you, Fifi, aren't you the one they told me you made a video just a few days ago saying don't watch Christian Prince videos because he will try to make you leave Islam? So if you don't believe people leaving Islam for real, I mean, why you are why you are worrying, you know? And here we go. The guy in your video admitted that he watched 200 of my video at least. And he did not dare to call me himself. Why the real Afdal don't call me as after you heard? Why you don't call and say, hey, I am the real Afdal? As if there is only one person in the world, his name is Afzal. I am Afzal. There is no other Afzal but me. <laughs> I'm a prophet Muhammad. <laughs> yeah. oh, what a comedy and what stupidity. Guys, please download the video, share it around. And let people laugh at the stupidity and i'm waiting for fifi to answer the following we want him to record the video with the friend of his friend who is supposed to be a fraud like muhammad and like fifi and mimi we want him to answer us did i lie when i say that the prophet he have 16 privilege and one of them if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her was i lying in what i read did is it true that in sahih al-bukhari and sahih muslim in all sahih it says that the prophet he encouraged a man to go and find a child so he can have fun with her making a man dislike his wife who is widow or she is previously married just because Muhammad he wanted him to marry a little child in the age of the children which the guy is rising in his house in Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih Muslim as you see the reference in the front of your eyes what uh, Fifi will say? The prophet here is not playing with the mind of a married man like a devil. What is the dignity in this conversation? Why? Why you don't marry a young girl, a child? And the guy, he got him busted. He said, well, I cannot marry a child. I have nine orphan girls, so I do not like to bring a young girl like them, which means she's a child because you call only an orphan if somebody is a child if I am an adult man or a woman and my parents pass away I am NOT an orphan that is not a word used for adult this is only for children who they are under the care of somebody because simply they are too young and their parents pass away so the guy he got Muhammad busted you are a scumbag Muhammad you are asking me to leave this woman who I am happily married to just to get a child to play with and that is the spiritual guidance of Allah to Prophet Muhammad why 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 you don't marry a little tiny child girl so you might play with her and she play with you this is the purpose of marriage in Islam get a child so you can play with her and how and why Muhammad he want a child because you know, when you have a child, anything you can control this child, it's very easy. Give her some sugar, she's happy. She do. You can intimidate her, you can intimidate a child very easy. Not a growing woman who she might disagree with you or argue with you or refuse you even. This is the mentality of the filthy man Muhammad. And then we need to ask another question. If Muhammad, he liked little children, why he married Khadija? The answer is very simple. Khadija, she married two husbands before him. Obviously, if you are advising somebody not to marry a previously married woman, 
it means this is what you like to do too. So Muhammad, when he married Khadija, he married her only for one reason, which is money. And the liars, both of them, they say, Christian Prince, he changed the truth. And the liar, he said in the video that I am, uh, I mentioned uh, uh, Muhammad said, who have sex before he, no, that is not what I said. I, I'll show me the video. I don't remember saying anything like this. Last time I quoted this hadith, maybe many tons of years ago. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe before this guy, he was born. I don't remember mentioning it actually in, in YouTube, in, in online. But if I show it to me, otherwise you are lying. I can mention to you Muhammad is sleeping with the women in her grave, yeah. Why? Why you want to sleep with her? To ease her grave. But she is first not your mother. Secondly, she is not a Muslim. Number three, the Quran forbid you from praying for them. So what do you mean by sleeping with her in the grave? You are going to ease the pressure of the grave on her. Even Muhammad, when he prayed to Allah for his mother who passed away long before him, Allah refused. So why you are doing it to the mother of Ali? If your mother was rejected by Allah according to the hadith, the mother of Ali is more important than the mother of Muhammad. Why Muhammad did not sleep with the bones of his mother in her grave? If that will ease her, the grave for her. And since when, if you sleep in the grave of somebody, that will ease the grave on you? And who are you, Muhammad, if you sleep with the person? Oh, I forgot. There's different, the many stories says that the, the lips which the Prophet kissed, there's no, they will never go to hell. And I know they will say this is a weak hadith, fabricated a fraud. But the same as everything in the religion is a fraud. Anything is embarrassing is a fraud. So now what he will say, hadith al-Bukhari is a fraud? He will say that, I guarantee you. And this is in Sahih Muslim, this is in Al-Bukhari, this is uh, 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 almost all Islamic uh, Sahih books, even at Turmudi, or everywhere, as you see. But all of them, they confirm that this is Sahih. What about the Prophet flirting with the wife of his son in her house when he, she is married? Can Mimi or Fifi say Christian Prince fabricating things is not written in Al Qurtubi or in Al Tabari or 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 or? We are waiting. And by the way, I don't care what the answer will be. The only thing I will care for that this guy he will record his friend, the one who he called that he is a Christian and he called me using his name, which is very funny as if there is only one person in Afghanistan or Pakistan, I don't know where he's from, he, his name is Afdal. Even, even Arabic names, you don't know what it is, Afdal. What Afdal? Since when in Arabic we have such a name? Afdal. Maybe you learn it from a Bedouin, like Fifi, who got some oil in his country and suddenly he became a, a computer guy. This guy, he have a king who is the puppet of the American. He don't dare to make jihad against his king, for he's a puppy. I mean, your king, he have big base for the American. And the Quran, chapter 5, verse 51 says, the one who take them as a friend or a protector, he is one of them. You don't dare to talk about him, do you? Isn't it the king of Bahrain is your king? But your potato, you don't dare to talk about him. I want to see you making a video against the king of Bahrain for accepting to have a big base for the American, the Kuffar, the Christians. Hmm? The one who protect your country is the Kuffar. Shame on you. And what do you do? You want to do jihad against Christian friends. <laughs> By what? By editing videos. By what? By being, bringing a fraud. And here we go. In a week or two or three from now, people, they will be asking you, they will keep asking you, where is the video of this guy confronting the other guy who is the friend of him in the school? He knew where to find him. He knew how to record him. He knew his name. He knew who is he. He knew where he lived. And he can record him easy and confront him. They will ask you, where is the proof? If you don't have a proof, my final word for you, you are a whore.
and actually even the word whore you are not qualified for it because even whores they have some dignity so either you prove to us that you have some dignity and you bring us the proof of what this guy he said or both of you fabricated this story that this guy is his friend and he called me and he is a Christian and he is not a Muslim and he used the name of this guy and he is a friend of him in the school if you could not prove it don't ever mention my name again whore you and Fifi Muhammad Hijab who cut my videos talking about panties and suck on me when the woman she is obviously filthy like Aisha she is the one who was saying to Jesus that he did something to his mother which is very filthy disgusting and yet you Muslim you claim that you defend Jesus prophet Jesus if you have little dignity if you're not a whore you will not side with the whore using her words against me so you accept a woman saying that Jesus played with his uh, mother just to fabricate a story against me you filthy what is your dignity is that what your mommy she said to you cut the videos of a Christian prince play where it says suck on me play where it says panty isn't it your prophet he order your sister and your daughter and every Muslim woman to take off her panty so I was saying her okay get ready take off your panty this is what your prophet teaching Hmm? Did I lie? This is the hadith. We were talking about muta, don't we? Isn't it your Muslim Sunni consider muta today a prostitution? So when your prophet he said any Muslim man, woman, they like to have boom boom, not temporary marriage. He never mentioned the word marriage, and you speak Arabic very well, actually not very well. And it says here, fa isharatu ma baynahuma. What is the word marriage? Ishra is not marriage. They live together, sex together. Three days, three nights. If they like to increase, they can increase. What kind of a prophet he is? So when I say, oh, take it, get ready. Here we go. Your prophet saying to you, take, take off your panty. Get paid for taking off your panty. And not only that, we find that Muslims, even there in their own website, explaining to us what that exactly means. And not only they explain, they say, well, this is mean a woman she is rented, which is what? This kind of woman she is rented. You believe it? You believe it? There's a religion, believe that it is okay for a woman to be rented. And this is supposedly the teaching of Allah. And this is the explanation given to us by the Muhammadan. So when you quote for Muslim women what the faith written in their religion, they accuse you that you are being a sexual. Me, I am a sexual. The, or the prophet who says, any believing woman, she want to give her vagina to me. I'm just reading you. So the second you read what is written in their books, they say, this guy is dirty. Look what he said. And then Mimi Hijab, he opened his mouth. <gasps> <gasps> he cannot breathe. Look, 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 look. Look at those faces. Look, 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 look. Look at the act. The fraud he knew the video saying something else. And look how he opened his mouth. Like he's surprised. Like what the heck? And then he said to me, You are finished. The coward, the potato, he promised the Muslim to debate me. And the only way for him to get out is playing those videos and hang up on me. The same as this potato. Fifi, editing my videos, don't dare to call me. Sons of Muta. If you say I'm insulting, I'm not. As you see, a Muslim woman, she can be rented. And this is your Muslim website, alislam.org. Oh, this is your website, Christian Prince. Oh, no, it's not mine. Islam.org is not mine. What it says in Islam.org? Does it say that a Muslim woman she can rent herself? Yes. 
Does it say that this is a kind of rental? Yes. In some work, a special terms, okay, just uh, explain to us, please. This is a little bit complicated, please. What, what, what? In some work, brother, a special terms are applied for women who participate in muta. Now, the Muslim Sunni, they will say, oh, the Shia, they practice muta today, what we don't practice. It doesn't matter if you practice it today, actually, you practice it, but under a different name. You have Zawaj al Orfi, Zawaj of Friend, uh, 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 like they call it marriage of a friend, uh, travel marriage. And, uh, so, like you want to go from a place to place, you want to go from San Francisco to LA, you don't have a wife there, you are legally allowed to marry a woman for a few days or a student marriage. You see, Muslims, they go like to East of Europe, like Bosnia. So they marry a Muslim woman, they, you know, he marry her the, uh, uh, for the time he will be a student there. So if he is going there for three months to learn the language, he marry a woman three months and then he divorce her and they call it marriage because simply this is the way to protect himself from going to prostitute but this is prostitution and he pay her for the three months so look special terms applied for women who participate in muta mustajra or rented women muta is considered kind of rental because in general man's basic aim is a kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman and in return for this enjoyment or his enjoyment the women she receive a certain amount of money and property and this is exactly what we see in the hadith of al-bukhari and actually the sunni they say uh, uh, that this is forbidden later by uh, muhammad which is will raise many questions but the fact there is many sahih hadith says that uh, Omar, the caliphate, and many other caliphate, they practice muta after Muhammad's death. So how this is forbidden? And this is in the Sunni books. I will try to find you the reference. Uh, let us see. Give me a second. I, I, I hate to mention something without showing the reference. Let us see. Give me a second, and we will show you Sunni reference, not like, uh, not only like reference, you know, because uh, uh, give me a second. All right. Let us see. Here we go. Now you see, I don't like to mention something without proof. This is Sahih Muslim. No CP. He doesn't say that, CP. And later he will say to you, this is Sahih Muslim, but it's weak. <laughs> it's reported from Jabir of Abdullah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it says that we mentioned that we benefit, we had 
been benefiting ourselves by this temporary marriage not this is muta it doesn't say temporarily which means sex for joys joy of sex for, uh, uh, for money during the lifetime of the prophet allah pray on him and salute him pray for not two and during the time of Abu Bakr and Umar so even after Muhammad he died the Muslim Sunni they practice muta during the Caliphate Abu Bakr and the Caliphate Umar and yet they lie to us they say it's forbidden and he will show you a hadith he says it's forbidden but here we go this is Sahih Muslim saying we practice that muta during Muhammad after Muhammad death because Abu Bakr and Umar when he says it during their time, it's mean during the time they became the rulers, the caliphate. Otherwise, three of them, they were existing at the same time. But when, when he said during the time of Abu Bakr and Omar, that's mean during the time of them being a caliphate. This is what Sunni do. Oh, there's no screen? Oh, excuse me. Uh, for how long there is no screen? Uh, it's my fault. Excuse me. I was not looking at the chat. I, I forgive me. You, you see the hadith? Do you see it? Now you see it, right? Did there's any hadith I quoted? You did not see it. Three minutes only. Okay, no problem. So do you see the hadith? Here we go. I will give you the link. Here we go. It says it clearly that they did enjoy muta. Uh, maybe you did not see me uh, reading the, for you the, the, the rented then, right? The part that says rented. Let us go back here. You, you, you did not get that part? Here we go. Here the Muslims explain to us how Muslim women she can rent her vagina in the purpose of enjoyment for sex in order to receive a property or money in some work special terms is applied to a woman who participate in muta mustajur or rented women muta are considered as a kind of rental because general man a basic aim is kind of marriage this is marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman and in return for his enjoyment the women receive certain amount of a property and this is considered rental I I imagine not only that, look how they do the muta. It says, the women, the man here have to say, this, look at the conversation. It says, I have given you possession. I have given you to you as a gift. I have rented you. I have lent to you, etc., which means the vagina. Do you see it? This is how they participate in the muta. Do you see it? I have given you position. Position of what? Of her legs, her ass, her vagina, her boobs. Now the Muslim, they will quote my, they will cut my video. Says, "See Christian Prince saying boobs." Well, I'm, my friend, I will never stop using those words as long as I'm reading your books. For nothing there except boobs and asses and vagina and penises. This is Islam. I apparently there is no disagreement in the point that women may not employ expression like I have given you may not not necessarily but she have you know this is what it is this is a religion rented women I rented you I heard of people renting a U-Haul, renting a car, but renting a woman according to God teaching, that only in Islam. This kind of garbage happened only in Islam. And the funny, this guy in the video, he says a Christian prince, he, he, he fabricates things, he used texts there, and he make it look different. Absolutely, brother, he make it look different. I mean, it's obvious. It's obvious. Even brother, he fabricate hadith. Like the one in Sahih Muslim, where it says that we did muta in the time of Muhammad, and Muhammad did muta too, because he is the prophet. If Muhammad refused to do muta, that means he don't believe in Allah. 
We benefit ourselves from the muta during the time of Muhammad, during the time of Abu Bakr, during the time of Omar. What else? It doesn't say that, CP. Anyway, guys, it's time to go. Please don't forget to download the videos. We will not keep them for long. And I hope that Mr. Me, uh, Mrs. Fifi uh, Farid, he will ask his friend. It's a challenge. It's a challenge to record the guy who did call me claiming to be a Muslim with his voice and his image and make a video about it. I want you to expose this guy, actually. So either both of you, Fifi and his friend, fabricating a lie, fabricating a story, or the story is a true. If the story is a true, I don't see a reason for you not to prove it. Is that correct, guys? I don't see a reason for them not to prove it. It's easy. Just go to the guy, talk to him, open your camera, and confront him, say, shame on you to use my name to call a Christian prince claiming to be me. And claim it to be a Muslim. If you don't do that, that's mean both of you are a fraud and you have made an agreement together to fabricate a story which is not a true. Now let us see if Fifi he is going to do it or he deserves the name whore from now on. We will see. Thank you guys. Download the video as soon as it's possible. Post it everywhere, expose those liars, and let us laugh at them. And the and the why the scholars don't call a Christian prince? Because he hang up on them. <laughs> and he called for me who? Nightmare who believed that Allah is a spirit. And he even fabricated the video. He did not show the whole video. I was talking to this guy for a long time. And then I lost my patience. I keep asking him, okay, what is the reference? And I just showed you in easy way. In the book of Al-Lusi, Dusi Busi, huh? that yes, your prophet, he said to them, I have no answer for you today. Come tomorrow. And then he gave them the verse, chapter 3, verse number 61, as you see. He did not debate them. And if you can show me any hadith which you consider sahih about a real debate happened by your prophet, because a debate, there's no way the debate will be two seconds, two sentences. I mean, that's it. Okay. Show us the debate. You have time to say to us that Sulaiman, he went and he, he heard the end and he smiled for the speech of the end. The end don't talk. They, yes, they have, they have communication as all creatures, but they don't talk. They are mute and they are deaf. So when he heard her speech, that is a, this is a story. So you Muslim, you have time to recite those stories, but you don't have time to recite for us an amazing debate because this would be amazing. People they joined to watch Fif Mimi Hijab and David Wood and half million people watch it, which is funny. Where Mimi Hijab he denied that Allah have a body part. Are you Sufi too? Me Fifi? Are you Sufi? Do you accept Allah have a body part? And then, then I made videos and get the busted. All the Muslim Sunni scholars agree that Allah yes have a body part. How come you don't make a video if you are really a Muslim Sunni? against Fifi Hijab saying Allah don't have body parts or you don't have you are just a, his puppy you don't dare to expose him hmm? why you don't uh, tell Mimi Hijab that the one who wear jeans have little holes in it he will go to hell hmm? for he is intimidated like uh, uh, he trying to copy the kuffar as your prophet said I mean both of you are a scam fraud Thank you guys for being here. The video is yours. Download it and we will take it off soon after I see many people download the video and they have it in their channel. Thank you very much. And this Christian Prince was having a good time with you Saturday night, exposing the liars and calling them the names they deserve. We don't call names. Those are names you deserve. Liars, false people, fraud. That's who you are. And we are waiting for Fifi to record the guy who he called using the name of Afzal because there's only one person in the world his name is Afzal and this is the real Afzal brother this is the true Afzal 
Prophet Afzal, peace upon him. There is only one Afzal in the universe. Anyone he call a Christian prince, his name is Afzal. He is claiming to be this guy. Obviously. Afzal. Very famous artist, by the way. I mean, how dare you? <laughs> we are waiting for them and they will die laughing. Uh, as you know, and you will see, he will never, he will never make a video because he's a fraud, like he's a prophet. Very funny, very, 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 very stupid of him, actually. Then shouldn't you ask yourself, okay, this guy, what if this guy he asked me to make a video of this guy who is supposedly a fraud? As long as you know him, you know where he live, he is a friend for you in this in the school. Well, maybe Christian Prince will say, okay, go and confront him and record him and pause the video. You never ask yourself that maybe he will ask us to to you know. You are not saying that this is a guy claiming to you using maybe your name. He, first, he did not use a full name. He used just first name. And there is this is a name. Anyone can use it. Secondly, you claim that you know him. Did you confront him? He never mentioned in the video, by the way, that he went to him and he spoke to him. And he said to him, shame on you. He never said that. For the story, all of it, it's fabricated. Because the first thing you do, you should go to the guy and say to him, shame on you. First of all, you are not a Muslim. Secondly, you use my name. But he did not do that. Record it, Fifi. Record it. You are putting yourself like Mimi Hijab. You became like Mimi now. Certified. And you know, always when you talk, you blink with your eye. I'm not sure what does that mean. So if you don't make the video about the guy you claim that he is calling, and we have his voice, so you cannot, you cannot fabricate someone else record the video of somebody else record his face and confront him say to him hey you call a christian prince you claim to be afzal you're a liar it's not you and i want to we want to hear the guy talking and answering in the video otherwise fifi when you blink with your eye that fit perfectly with the name whore blink more be a whore or be a man and prove what you say thank you all for being here may the lord bless you and we ask forgiveness for the Lord for using language we use when we talk about Islam. But what you expect? Garbage in, garbage out. My topic is dirty, so we speak dirty. Muhammad is dirty, so we speak dirty. Islam is dirty. Imagine women, they are renting themselves. The Prophet, if his eyes fall into a woman, her, her husband must divorce her. The Prophet, he go to his own son's house when she is married in her house and he flirts with her. And all of this is in their books the prophet if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her and this is written by their scholars the best of their scholars it doesn't say that cb <laughs> take care everybody may the lord bless you and thank you for your support and uh, please don't forget to download the video share it everywhere you can let everybody see how we expose those liars and Either they have to prove it or they have to move it. And now it's hard to move it, actually. This video is going to be all over. So if Fifi did not record the guy who did, he claimed that he is fake and they knew him, they knew where he lived, they knew his school, and the guy even he called him a friend, he knew his phone number. If they did not do that, it's mean you Muslim, you should spit at those both. Literally, you should spit at them. Tell them shame on you. Why you don't go and confront the guy and record him in video? Show everybody that this guy, he did not leave Islam. He is not even a Muslim. Show everybody that those guys are calling Christian Prince. Maybe they are liars. Why you don't do that? I will be waiting. Because I want to know really if somebody is lying to me. Very interested. If he is lying, I would love to see him get busted. If you are lying, I'm getting you busted anyway. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Fifi, for your entertainment. And you prove to us that Islam is not legitimate. Otherwise, prove it or move it. And in this scenario, I'm not talking about the movie. You move something else. Shake it. So the Prophet, his eyes will fail on you. And then he will marry you. And then your husband, Mimi Hijab, will divorce you. May Allah bless you. Thank you, guys. Take care. And... See you soon. Bye-bye.